Hey everybody, welcome back to my garden and I wanted to show you a nice little update today with my hydroponic orange plant. Let's come down below and take a look. This is a little orange seedling that I planted from seed on April 5th and today is already June 19th so it's been basically about two and a half months and should be coming on our three month mark pretty soon and look at how beautiful this plant looks let's come in nice and close and take a look you can begin to see when i first showed the part one of this episode uh the plant only had basically one leaf here i'll just, i'll put a link down below to the description if you want to see what part one looked like and this is basically part two of the series and look at how nice all of these leaves look and I actually noticed that it was beginning to yellow a tiny bit the pepper plants were beginning to kind of cover over the plant here over on this side it was basically co covering up underneath the leaf here so I took that off and I moved it over a tiny bit and we actually it's been quite a while since I've checked on the nutrient level and the root system what it looks like so let's both take a look you don't want to disturb the the roots as too often, so every now and then is all right. And I actually, right before the video, I, I noticed it was exposed like this. And I thought that was the basically, I think that's the seed originally that the plant was germinated from, which is basically still connected to the plant. So that's where the root system started from basically. So being that it's being pushed back out a tiny bit, I covered it up like this with just the cocoa core here in the net cup so let's pick this up and see what it looks like and yeah look at this beautiful yellow root system and orange plants grow these nice beautiful yellow roots I know a lot of people are used to seeing these clear white roots as you see in many of my videos but look at how beautiful this system looks right here nice healthy the root system looks really long and if you look at part one you'll see a real big difference in what the roots look like and look at the right there everything looks nice and healthy nice and clear not too much cocoa core even fell into the cup which is great and that's because I put some clay pebbles here at the bottom of the net cup before I started and the cocoa core up top so let's actually wanted to also check with the nutrient levels look like as well as the pH of the water so we know if we need to do any type of changing being that this plant doesn't take up too much nutrients and it grows quite slow so it's always best to see what the levels look like and I apologize about the background noise I live in a pretty busy area so let's actually do two things here let's take a empty jar right here this way we could put the cup into for a moment and let's trans transpond that right there for a sec and let's see what the levels look like so first I want to check the pH and you need a nice little pH monitor I actually got a new one I'll put the description in the for the link for this in the description bar and I really like this one actually compared to the last one that I had I feel it, it reads a much more accurate reading and it actually reads to a further level so we're just gonna drop that in there submerge that and let's take a look so this has a pH basically of 6 point swirl that around just to make sure we get a nice accurate reading just about a 6.10 so that's not too bad I would have preferred maybe a little slightly I think maybe more of an acidic pH for this plant but I'll double check. I'm not exactly sure actually what's the proper level that it needs, so I'll take a look at that. And yeah, so that's the pH. And let's take a look at what the ppm looks like. And that's basically the parts per million, and I'll read you how much hydroponic nutrients are in the jar. So if I could simply open this thing, there's my ppm monitor. And let's th get a reading. 
and this has as you see around 806 parts per million and that's using my mixture of master blend and my vegetative stage which is basically two grams master blend two grams calcium nitrate and one gram epsom salt and that'll basically give you the same type of parts per million and let's put our orange plant back in there and yeah that's basically what I have for you so our pH looks pretty good our nutrient levels look really good the only thing left to do is hit the like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer everything thanks for watching